That's the kind of person that actually needs a new kind of program, needs a new kind of help. So again, the question is, who's going to qualify for this program and who's going to really be on the steering board and board of directors as we that's going to decide who qualifies? This is a new fact though that Duffy came out in favor of this and made a big show about it because he's actually running the board president next year. This is his here I don't know if that's a fact. Is that your No, I had the first ever day. Is that your argument? You finally got a smart You guys are better therapists. Yeah, good. You don't know that there's going to be a new board president in January? I do, but I do think that Bevan Duffy wanted to be the board president. How Who do you think's going to Well, I would say, you know, you want somebody who has been there for a couple years, so I would lean against the new. Folks are coming in, even all about Eric Park, having been, uh, uh, you know, a member of the school board, and I believe past president, the current president, would probably be able to run the meters pretty well. But other than that, I would say, you know, someone like uh, Ross Mercurini would probably be a, a good pick. Uh, you know, he certainly knows how to run the meetings. And sometimes politics aside, just knowing uh, the, uh, the, the process and, and rubbish rules in order and keeping things going in, in a smooth and fast way is really uh, the importance of the battle. But the progressives have split themselves. Uh, you've got uh, out in District 11, in the district, you've got uh, Asha Safai running for the mayor's people, and he's spent an awful lot of money on that. You've got Jim Avalos running out of Daly's office, obviously, back in the day. And suddenly, out of nowhere, comes Randy Knox. And the work that I'm going to ask him put in the race because he didn't think Avalos. But the really bottom line is that uh, Knox would vote for Mercurini, and it's a split. Talk to me about this, uh, this battle among the progressives. Or, or, no. Am I imagining this thing, or are they're not working together? They're supposed to have IRB where each other's voting, but they're not endorsing each other. Well, and let's not forget that Julio Ramos is also planning to run, and you know he's been endorsed in the past. With, uh, uh, Myrna Lim out there, uh, going to run again. Myrna Lim's going to run, and, and Julio's been endorsed by the Bay Guardian in the past when he's run for a city college board, which he's on now. You know, I think in terms of whether or not progressives should be working together or fighting, the, it would be different if there were an incumbent progressive uh, they were running against. But right now, it's an open seat, and you know they're all entitled to run, and uh, and so much better for the public if. If uh, you know everybody runs, and people have to sharpen their skills. In, in District Five, 22 candidates ran in 2000, uh, 2004, I guess it was, and uh, they got along. And I forced them at the time. I ran as I ran for a joke in these things, but I forced everybody to make a ranked choice vote. Did you back ranked choice voting? And uh, why did these people just just join together as a slate? Uh, I did uh, uh, back uh, ranked choice, choice voting. Hey, you know. As to, as to why people don't uh, run together as late, I mean, it's tough. I mean, people want to win outright, and, and that's not uh, outside the realm of possibilities. It can still happen, I doubt it, because, you know, it's very hard to get people uh, you know, to, to agree on much of anything. But, so, you know, a lot of candidates run, it's okay. I mean, when I ran both times, um, I had it. There were at least a dozen candidates who ran, and that's what district elections are supposed to be about. The little person is supposed to be able to run, and it doesn't take uh, $200,000 to mount a, you know, a good campaign. You can do it pretty well with probably 10 to 20. And with the uh, uh, public uh, finance assistance, uh, people are going to have uh, twice that amount. Yeah, but nobody went out there and ran somebody like Randy Knox against you. The progressive state is a unit behind you, and that's why you won. Do you disagree? Well, uh, I think that, uh, you know, there were when I ran, there were there were two other uh, Hispanic candidates who ran in a, in a district where 25% uh, of the population is uh, Latino. So I, I think, you know, there, there might have been some attempts there to split the vote. Um, and that's that's a conscious effort that just happened then. But um, as far as uh, uh, the progressives taking together, yeah, progressives did stick behind me, and, and that is why I won. The, the, uh, who's going to win this one? I don't know. I think right now it's really gut feeling. I, right now, you got four or five people who got uh, who, who got 2,500 votes each, and that's enough to finish second. So there's no way at this point to predict the winner. But the mayor is not splitting uh, all the downtown vote. The mayor has got all his uh, marbles and, 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 and I should sign. Right? Uh, yeah, but you know, historically, uh, the mayor has not had great coattails. I mean, we saw that in District Four. Uh, you know, with, with the election. Uh, 
that had you winning and, and neither the mayor's candidate nor several other more mainstream downtown candidates uh, won. Um, so, you know, I'm not that worried about the mayor. I think uh, I think from what I can see so far, it's going to be a very nice election. We a lot of good people running. And, and, and I have to disagree with you about uh, Aaron Peskin putting Randy Knox up to uh, running. I, you know, Randy Knox is very... Knox life. Well, Randy Knox is a very fine... Not, Knox didn't tell me that. Well, Randy Knox, yeah, I've known him for a long time. He's a very fine attorney. Uh, he's the he's most champion, the underdog, he's an attorney. And he's got every right to run. I want him, I, I'd love him to win. I'd love that. Uh, I have him win, but I'm just afraid that they're splitting the vote uh, out there. I think you know, Randy's is uh, the second most popular in the mid 70s. Okay, 20 years getting on in public service. Uh, you you get a poll up as well. That's a retirement position for everyone. What do you want down the road? I know you don't want to say you're going to look past judge, but uh, as a little kid uh, playing in the yard and dodging cars and all that, you must have thought, oh, damn, I want to be president. Look, every time we came across the border, uh, coming back from vacation in Mexico as a law abiding family in the station wagon, yeah, with five kids, a mother and father, all citizens. Everything in order, uh, you know, a nice enough car. I mean, we were the American dream, except we were Mexican American. Uh, every time we came across the border and got our car ripped to shreds, you know, by some immigration official, uh, it made me want to fight for justice and social justice, and, and, and uh, that's never stopped. I mean, whatever I, whatever is happening with this race, uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not here. I, I don't know if you know him. On some level, an advocate for more poor, working class people, for immigrants, uh, and uh, you know, it's something I could do as a judge. I think you could do it fairly without compromising your your need to be neutral and fair. And it's something I would do as an attorney. Or should I not win? Uh, you're going to win it all the way. Have we got any more? We got anything else on the uh, on the judge race? We're oh. trying to find the poll. No. No. They're, they're screwing around. But Ger Gerardo, uh, 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 thanks a lot. Do you want to say anything else to uh, our, our audience? Goes from Japan to Germany to Maine to uh, Southern California to Oregon uh, to San Francisco. And, 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 and there are only 10 people. So far. But, but, but this, this gets out. Uh, we had 16,000 hits in the, the, the first week of this. So there is an audience for, uh, for a, a show like this that each evening sits down with politicians and local characters and uh, 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 tell me what you want to say to uh, uh, local people, to get people get around the world and whatever, because this will go on, this will be there forever. Well, you know, San Francisco has always been a town since, uh, uh, you know, since the gold rush, where people came, uh, you know, into the city to to uh, to get what they couldn't get in the in the hills and the mountains. You know, the originally the miners would come in here with their little bag of dust, gold dust, and uh, you know they they do everything uh, they couldn't get up there: a steak, uh, a bath, uh, and everything else. That's where the Barbary Coast was born. And for the last 150, 170 years, that's been the history of San Francisco. People come to San Francisco essentially for the liberty. Uh, and for the freedom to do what they want, and that's what uh, these elections are all about. People talking about uh, their own uh, perspective of the world and uh, their vision for a better, better city. It's it's a very unique city because so many people participate, so many people are involved. Whether it's some neighbor who's trying to put an addition on their house, or a measure like uh, Prop A, which is uh, about improving the schools tonight, or whether somebody thinks that they should be running for judge, uh, we're an opinion in city, and I think that's the way it should stay. It's something we should we should uh, continue to celebrate for forever. I agree, but you're going to win. Supervisor Lincoln the county is going to win. You're going to be Judge Sandoval in the evening. H, thanks for being nice. I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you're going to be here through January, though, so, so we don't get a news on the point. You got a result for you. Your worship, there's a question over here. That's, uh, those were the results that came in uh, about an hour, about a half an hour ago. Senor, senor, he's he's 3,000 with the conservative. 3,000 down with the conservative vote with 65% to go. He's going to win. You heard it from me. He's going to win. Alexander Jones, I recognize you.